こんにちは。Hello, welcome to Beach Room International. Today we are going to explore the weird and exotic world of pop Renaissance man Momus. Who is Momus? Momus is performer, writer, and producer. Momus is Scottish gentleman. Momus is, as you say, big in Japan. Our journey begins in Scotland's beautiful capital city of Edinburgh. The year is 1968. Momus is playing the piano. Momus is eight years old and he has recorded his first pop composition, the prophetically titled I Can See Japan. I can see Japan. I can see Japan. I can see the mountain tops and I can see the villages and I can see your images and maybe best of all, I can see your love. I can see Japan. I can see Japan. I can see the mountain tops and I can see the villages and I can see your images and maybe best of all, I can see your love. It's kind of weird that when I was eight, I made a song called I Can See Japan, and it was in fact the first song I'd ever written.、Um, a lot of my songs have turned out to be prophetic. For instance, I sang a song about only having one eye, and lo and behold, here I am with only one eye.、Um, and、um, I guess、uh, I was, with that song, I Can See Japan, I was probably trying to rip off The Who because they just released、um, a, a single called I Can See for Miles, which was probably about them dabbling with lysergic substances. But、uh, my song was really a, an innocent child's song about just seeing to the furthest away place there is in the world. And that to me seemed like Japan. And it's just kind of an irony that the rest of my career has been very dominated by Japan, where people are into all sorts of Weird things like gadgets and sex that the British aren't into, and, and I guess I've always been rather strangely for a British person fascinated by. To really、uh, gauge my fascination with Japan, I think you'd have to picture me on a really hot, humid、uh, midsummer afternoon in the rainy season in Harajuku, which is like the style, music, fashion district of Tokyo,、um, taking shelter from a sudden rainstorm with a bunch of teenage girls whose, whose clothes are really、uh, clinging to them. And, and they have this weird kind of Lolita insouciance, where they're, they're kind of aware that they're, they're very sexy、uh, and they're spending a huge amount of money、uh, resembling. Uh, visitors from、um, Pluto or something, you know,、uh, mixed with,、um, well, mixing all sorts of、uh, styles like、um, ethnic styles and transparent plastics and fantastic,、uh, again, like the music, you know, it's very eclectic. It's like they, they put together styles that Western people just would never even think of clashing and colliding. And to them, it's not a contradiction. To them, it's just like walking in Tokyo Disneyland and seeing the,、uh, the weird Western architecture. Collided all in, with different styles. And so, to me, it's very、um, conceptually interesting and it's also very sexy.、Um, so, you know, there's a visceral reaction I get and there's also a, a mental reaction I get.、Mm. I was created in the flesh pots of Araby. My mother was the Emperor's secretary. My father, a notorious libertine, escaped from Sodom and Gomorrah, the cities of the plain. You can read my family's rise and fall in Gibbon. Well, I was born to be adored by women. Well, Seth begat Clem, and then Clem begat Ruth, and then Ruth begat me, and all hell broke loose. The tribes all began to multiply and boom. And looking at their kids, no one knew from whom. The beautiful things kept springing. Well, I was born 
wives be adored by women. My hair is long, distinguished, prematurely gray. I've got a mouth like Ernest Hemingway's ashtray. I've fathered 103 illegitimate kids. I've never met a mother I couldn't bear. I love children, spiders, snakes, and anything living. Because I was born to be adored by women. Well, some guys can erect garden furniture That must be what God created husbands for But if you need a milk chocolate in the shape of a man If you need a bunch of marzipan the size of Taiwan Look up the chimney, see what Santa's bringing Well, I was born to be adored by women I'm always late since my watch got sold But I'm worth the wait The weight in gold after God made me They broke the mold And I've broken all the records with that old song Both sons are so fond of singing Cause I was born to be adored by women My favorite beast is the funky skunk My favorite bird is the cuckoo punk My favorite color is the emerald green Chuck the football fan goes when his beauty queen Comes to me when she's chucked him in Cause I was born to be adored by women Love technique, you could scribble in biro on the balls of your feet. I never wear underwear, I drive a dead beat Land Rover in my bare feet. Stark naked, there's always one more river to go swimming. When you're born to be adored by women. Uh. Now, today, Momos is touring with Kahimi Kari a beautiful young Japanese pop singer. Momos has written and produced many tracks for Kahimi and has been adopted by the Shibuya K, Japan's trendy pop and style scene, which itself is based around Tokyo's fashionable shopping district, Shibuya. Artists like Cornelius, Pichikat 5, Kako Minekawa, Fantastic Plastic Machine, and Kahimi Kari are creating new sounds that are making big waves around the world. What we're now seeing is a bunch of Western artists, I mean, I would include myself, um, being post Cornelius and post Shibuya K, which is the label that was given to the um, very eclectic artists in the 90s that came out of the Shibuya district. Shibuya is really um, where the, the biggest and best stocked record stores in the world are. And um, Shibuya K is really the sound of, of young Japanese going in there with no preconceptions, just buying a bunch of records for their sleeves or because they seem trendy and credible. And, and in fact, coming out with lots of bossa nova or, or you know, Scottish. Uh, indie bands or um, you know French pop or you know whatever and, and just putting it all into their own records and you can see that happening in the music and you can also see it happening in the clothes like for instance um, 
the middle of last summer there was a, a style called Dekorachan and all the girls were wearing these kind of petticoats and um, very crazy um, pink uh, duffel coats with enormous teddy bear heads for the buttons and this kind of thing just really I think another thing that happens in Tokyo is because it's so safe there's no uh, crime on the streets and, and you won't get derided and, and beaten up for looking kind of weird so and also the young people have a lot of disposable income and um, their parents are the biggest savers in the world and their parents tend to give them give their children a, like a five-year window of freedom in which they can travel but also become fantastic consumers and and you know buy lots of records buy lots of clothes written by Moms for Japanese cosmetics advertising campaign was Kahimi Curry's first top five hit. People often want to know why I have this strange uh, uh, aptitude for writing for beautiful girls and um, it could be something to do with me wanting to have been born a girl and just being tremendously jealous of girls because I think artists and girls and beautiful women anyway have a kind of a very similar position in our culture that they're both trying to seduce people, they're both trying to, to win admiration. Um, and they might even have a special relationship with the man, you know, the paternal capitalist. The song has a message for Kahimi's teenage girl fans. Put some makeup on your face, make this world a better place. Hello and welcome to our series on hits and myths of classical civilization. And we're looking today at the Greek pantheon of gods. We're looking in particular at a very little known god who's called Momus and who was ex exiled from Mount Olympus for his criticisms of the other gods. You might think that's a bit unfair because in fact he was the god of criticism, mockery and laughter. He was just, after all, doing his job. And yet he was kicked off for saying that um, Aphrodite, for instance, walked with bare feet and made too much noise, or that uh, Prometheus uh, was given a little bit of mud and made a man of clay, um, and uh, Momus said that in fact the man should have a glass window in his chest so that the gods could be always checking up on what he was thinking and feeling, an early form of surveillance. 
um, Momus, I like to think, uh, is still wandering through eternity, um, banished from his um, place of birth, but animating the spirits of poets and artists, like, for instance, the current contemporary singer and postmodern quirky eccentric pop artist Momus. <laughs>